Hello guys, uh, XenonQuirk996 here, just uh, giving a foreword to this video. So, uh, as I said, this video is going to be one of those weird, surreal, artsy type of videos. Um, it's going to be similar to a video I think I did last year, probably somewhere around October if I remember correctly. It's called uh, World Building Experiment The Great Finger War, if I remember correctly. I'll have a picture of the thumbnail over this right now. So uh, if you don't know what to expect, then uh, just go watch that video to get an idea of what I'm doing here. And without further ado, on with the show. You're trapped in a tiny battleship. You see a weird leaf. How did this all get here? Our story begins on a small island smack dab in the middle of the ocean, where a sea witch and maybe an apprentice or two reside. This island is, as I said, quite small, probably two or maybe three times bigger than Vatican City if I were to compare it to an actual country. The only sign of civilization on the island is the sea witch's house, where she and her apprentices live as well as perhaps a few other structures. Other than that, the island is full of life, with its trees especially being very unique. Our sea witch here is a calm, collected individual who spends her time hanging out in the woods and having good times with her apprentices. As you may suspect, she is quite competent in the magical arts, having studied sea magic ever since she was just a young girl. She has used this magic not only to prolong her own life by keeping herself young, but also to prolong her apprentices' lives, as well as keep the island protected via a few magical rune stones. Her apprentices, on the other hand, do a lot of the work on the island, ensuring that the order of things on the island aren't disturbed by any storms or typhoons that may make their way across it. This is done mostly by keeping the magical runestones I mentioned earlier pristine and undamaged. However... The magical runestones are quite unique in what they do. You see, the Sea Witch did make them to protect the island, but she did not specify the method in which to protect the island other than ensuring that it be kept secret from the outside world. This resulted in the runestones doing something very unique whenever a foreign vessel comes too close to it. Instead of simply disintegrating the vessel or instantly killing every crew member on board, the runestones pull in the vessel closer to the island while perhaps changing its size by quite a bit. Time and time again, the Sea Witch's apprentices have come down to the beaches where the Sea Witch erected the runestones all those years ago and have found many miniature vessels of all shapes and sizes. Some of the vessels have been kept in a small collection that the Sea Witch and her apprentices have been making while others have been discarded to be lost to time forever. The battleship is just one of these victims. Whether or not it will suffer a grisly fate is up to the person that finds it. Well, that was something. If you like this type of video, feel free to give me some feedback and I will happily keep that in mind. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter.com, but as always, Thanks for watching.